attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. We... When we arrive at Singapore Air Terminal, will all transit passengers please alight from the aircraft first? And will you all please have your passports ready? You will be through the airport formalities very quickly. We'll be waiting to take you to your hotel. passengers are away. Some to spend the night and fly away tomorrow. Some to stay because Singapore is their home. But some on business or pleasure who can spend a while to explore this teeming, varied island. At first it looks like any other eastern city. But if you're used to eastern cities, you'll notice how clean this one is. Then you'll discover it's unique. Because here, all the crush and tumble of the East are found side by side with luxurious living. For here are open spaces, fine buildings and orderly traffic. the city founded by Stamford Raffles, Malay scholar, colonial administrator, with ideas far in advance of his time on the exchange of cultures between East and West. so to one of the many famous hotels known to travelers from every corner of the globe. Luxurious, romantic and comfortable. But a moment's walk from such luxury, there's a new world, a very ancient world. All round this island, fishermen stand in the warm sea, casting their nets for prawns. This is how it looked to Raffles a century and a half ago, when he made a treaty with the Malay Sultan and restored the island's ancient name, Singapore, the Lion City. Yet alongside is the 20th century. Here, two oceans meet, and the flags of every nation flutter. Where else in the whole wide world can be found such variety, such contrast, and all in so small a space. A fair city of towers and spires, of minarets and domes, of ancient symbols and sacred creatures. The infinite variety of man and his creations, where Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim and Christian worship their different gods. Dragon, gargoyle, Scroll and curve, lantern, lotus, and cross. Here is the world in miniature, in a city proud to find room for so much, and taking its very character from the people it shelters. Chinese, 
Indians, Malays. From their music and food, their clothes and customs, their many voices. The streets with their unceasing buzz and clutter, the craft and custom of many civilizations, Singapore will always fascinate and surprise. This is a Chinese funeral, a procession of mourners, offerings to the departed soul of goods and money for the next world, and gongs to frighten away the evil spirits. Here in a sunny garden near the shore, a Chinese millionaire has created a fantasy world, enchanting, grotesque, but irresistible. Our friends from the plane are here with their cameras, for these scenes from legend and mythology are a photographer's dream. never far from reality in Singapore, whether crude as real life is, or peaceful as in the botanic gardens. It is always vibrantly alive. Here you can find rest from the rush of the modern city. You can learn about the lush tropical plants that grow here, or you can just enjoy the beauty of its famous orchids. Or its daughters. The aquarium is a treasure house of another kind of magic, the wonders of the silent world that surrounds these shores. For Singapore is an island only 26 miles by 14, so you're never far from the sight and sound of the sea. A land of perpetual summer, almost on the equator, yet cooled by the gentlest of breezes. A heaven of swimming and sailing and kind, all the year round. Singapore, you never know what strange creature is waiting to greet you. The most lovable of all legendary animals, the Chinese lion, is ready to perform on every festive occasion. Of all, perhaps, it's a shopper's paradise. From large emporium to small bazaar, Singapore is a glittering showcase of exotic goods, fabulous Indian silks and saris, Chinese brocades and mandarin jackets and fine embroideries.
precious jades and carved ivories. Dolls and knickknacks and jeweled accessories. Malay silver and curios and ancient weapons. A world famous change alley where watches and cameras jumbled with oriental weapons according to the salesman, less than cost. But perhaps it's at night that this polyglot city comes most alive. When the lights come up, there is every kind of entertainment to tempt you out, and every style of eating and dancing. The Worlds, for instance, typically Singapore. These are amusement parks with sideshows, try your skill stores, shops, restaurants, cinemas and dance halls. And Chinese opera. A gorgeous glitter of costume and decor, performed in the traditional manner. But when it comes to dancing, there's much to be learned. There are Western dance halls, but the Malay dance, or ronging, has an appeal quite different. No, not that way. You must learn not to touch. That's it. Among the major delights of such a cosmopolitan city is the choice of food. Its speciality, Chinese food. You can eat it in private with friends happy to instruct you in the art of chopsticks. Or you can go all dressed up to one of the many sophisticated restaurants which cater for all tastes, with a beautiful singer thrown in for good measure. This is a city that never sleeps, where no one wants to go home, for there is always one more novelty to try, one more delight to be tasted. When it's time to move on, it is with regret. And our passengers must go their different ways, to India or Indonesia, Hong Kong, Manila or Japan, Australia, Hawaii, America or Europe. For this is the crossroads of the world. Whether you stay a night, a month, or a lifetime, here is enchantment that won't wear off. Unforgettable Singapore.